Ever wondered why the population increased so much over the years compared to the past? Has it exceeded the limit our world can support? Or is it just an unavoidable natural phenomenon on which we have no control? Well, let's find out. The human population has grown from 1 billion in 1800 to 7.8 billion in 2021. A staggering four-fold increase in the last century has concerned many regarding its future growth. How would population growth shape the future? Would it mean congested slums stretching across the globe? More illnesses and pollution? Anarchy and disorder? Would wars bring the world race to extinction? Or is it all just a fluke and overpopulation is a myth? To find that out, let's go back to the 1950s when the population growth had soared up to the sky. During that period, many people predicted an inevitable clash between humans and laid out apocalyptic predictions. They said the poor would keep on multiplying and would occupy the developed world. But that's not what happened, right? They ignored a fundamental element called demographic transition. Demographic transition is a four-step process that the world is going through. The first stage of the demographic transition can be traced back to the 18th century. Back then, the world was way worse than it is now. It suffered from poor hygiene, an unhealthy diet, and a lack of medicine. The infant mortality rate was very high and lots of babies died right after birth. Out of six children, only a couple of them would reach adulthood. The birth and death rates, even though very high, were more or less similar, and that's why the population hardly grew. Then came the Industrial Revolution that changed everything. The peasants who worked at farms were now known as workers. There were mass production of manufactured goods. Science, medicine, transportation and communication flourished and advanced. The traditional role of women also changed, and they were now an important part of society. The living standard rose, and the inequality between rich and poor shrunk, resulting in the formation of middle-class families. The economic development kick-started the second demographic transition. With better health care, hygiene and medicine, the death rate fell significantly. This led to a boom in population growth. As more children started to survive, the third change of development was about to take place. The death rate and the birth rate were now stable, which meant that many countries now had achieved the fourth stage of demographic transition. If we put it simply, the first stage had many births and many deaths due to poor living conditions. Second, better living conditions allowed fewer deaths and therefore an explosion in population growth. Third, stability in birth and death rates takes us to the fourth stage of where population growth comes to an end. In recent times, the average number of children per couple has dropped to 2.5 compared to 5 over 40 years ago. The data predicts that as the world progresses, the fertility rate will drop and population growth will keep declining. In truth, most of the countries in the world have made it to the fourth stage. While most developed countries have already made the transition, some developing countries are still going through it. Bangladesh is a prime example of how the birth rate has declined and living standards have improved. Over 50 years ago, a woman would have an average of seven children, but out of the seven, only five would make it into adulthood. Fast forward now, the infant mortality is down and women now have only 2.2 kids on average. These four stages are inevitable and in no way is the West an exception. It happened earlier in the Western countries like the UK, Germany and France, but in some countries the demographic change is starting to happen now. The developed countries took more than 80 years to reduce the birth rate from 6 to 3 children on average, but some developing countries have started to pick up the pace. For example, Malaysia and South Africa have done it in 34 years. Meanwhile, it only took 20 years for Bangladesh and 10 years for Iran to half the birth rate. Unlike the West, these countries did not start from scratch, but used the latest technologies and support to boost the process. The introduction of programs that help lower child mortality and aid development has proved to be significant. The statistics show that we're getting there. The people living in poverty are at the lowest today. The population growth, which was once projected to be a curse on the human race, is nothing but a necessary phase. One day, the population growth will come to a halt and will become stable. 
The UN has predicted that the human population will not go above 12 billion. The development of the world will continue to rise, and so will the education level. The developed countries are now helping developing countries improve their living standards and are aiding in economic growth. The future looks bright as the population will be more educated with exceptional health care to help improve our species. Many countries have started to educate people regarding the issue, and as the literacy rate rises, the population growth will stop. The issue does not need immediate change, as overpopulation is a natural phenomenon that will curve itself as time passes.